How's it going, everyone? I hope you're all having an amazing day today. We're going to be talking about this new free game, Star Wars Hunters. It's available for iOS and Nintendo Switch. Man, I've only played this thing a few times, and it is absolutely insane. It's so much fun, and there's so much to do. It's a live service multiplayer game where we actually get to choose our own characters and fight with the Force. That is so awesome. So if you are a Sith if you are a Jedi, a Rebellion, and part of the New Republic, doesn't matter, whatever it is, this game has something for you. As Darth Sidious once said, there is a disturbance in the Force, and now it's our job to join together and make our Star Wars functions proud. So for starters, you do start off with Armara Varks, who is a bounty hunter and uses a blaster but my favorite thing about that is that they do have a special where it has a rocket and it unleashes complete havoc on your opponent now like i said this game is a multi-service game so it is all multiplayer uh there are two modes available to play right now which is the regular team deathmatch where you have a certain amount of points in order to win the match and whoever wins that match first or whoever gets the most amount of points wins that match. Now, all of these matches are only five minutes long, which is absolutely amazing because that means that you can play this game while you're on the go, when you have something to do, if you're just waiting to kill time. It doesn't take up too much of your time. Like I said, it's so much fun to play. And then the next video I'm going to show you is actually going to be pretty much everything else that this game has to offer that is outside of the arena itself so like i mentioned you do have a variety of players that you can choose from which you unlock as you progress in levels you progress by doing missions doing campaigns and by just playing and having fun so the more that you play the more you unlock and you get to have more characters with these characters, they all have different abilities. You ha you can personalize them however you want. You get different skins, different styles, stuff like that. You can unlock various other things as well. This game does give you a lot of in-game currency where you can actually buy the next character, for example, if you want to unlock them early, or you can pay with actual money. They do also offer a season pass, which you do have to pay for with actual money. Um, but in the season pass, you get a variety of different skins, characters, weapons, stuff like that. So it looks like a lot of fun. And the cool thing is daily, they do give you a free thing from the store for you to go ahead and grab. This can be anywhere from skins uh, for characters, guns, emotes, and also points. So now the next video I'm going to show you is actually going to be with my personal favorite so far, which is Sentinel. This guy is absolutely amazing and I'll, you'll see why. In this game, we are still playing the Team Deathmatch and I love this map so much because it does have little cool interactions for you to do such as that little jump pad you just saw me launch off of and this one as you can see does go up to 20 for the score where the first video went up to 10 or 15 i believe but however the time is still only five minutes so you have five minutes to eliminate as many enemies as possible and be sure to use all of your power-ups all of your boosters as well now for the main power up, you do have to wait for it to load and it can load by three ways. So it'll load simultaneously in the background as you continue playing the game. Once you get to 100%, like you can see there, it'll highlight it. And once you do click on it, then that'll be your big power up from the game. So I'll go ahead and do that here. As you can see, Sentinel calls in the Stormtroopers. How awesome is that? Now. I did mention there are three ways that you can power this up. So you can power it up by actually getting shots in from your enemy, which will power it up. And there's also little purple circles of the energy bar all around the map. If you run into those, it'll give you a certain amount of percentage increase so that you can go ahead and do that. As you can see here, Sentinel does have a shield and if he does have a power up uh, shot where if you hold on to it, it'll do like a really big damage and it'll actually stun your opponent man i love that jump pad i cannot get over that that thing is so much fun and it just looks so cool flying through the air as you're shooting your enemies so this is the team deathmatch part two 20 kills to win the game 
as you can see here the opponents only have one kill or one death on our team and that's a w so that's another win for us let's go ahead and hop into the next section but before we do that i do want to show you that you do get various different prizes and it gives you points xp in-game currency stuff like that so that you can continue to level up and unlock those characters and now without further ado let's jump into my favorite game mode this one that we're going to be playing here is capture the flag as you can see here i do have my character unlocked with a new skin that i actually got while playing the game this is the bounty hunter that i mentioned in the beginning you can see the rockets are loading right now there are health bars all across the map as well so if you do get shot and you need that extra health feel free to run into those that'll give you a good amount of health won't heal you completely but it will help out in the situation and like you can see here this one is capture the flag so as the name states all you have to do is run into those highlighted circles and stay for a certain amount of time until you capture that flag whoever captures the most amount of flags will end up winning the game so this one is actually not timed from what i see this one is pretty much just keep playing until the all of the flags have been captured each time you capture it it gives you a certain percentage and once you get to 100 percent, you're all done with the game as you can see there we're doing our little victory dance because we got another flag now another thing that i absolutely love is that this game carries so much star wars stuff in the background as you can see there there is a fallen imperial shuttle and actually in various other maps you'll see little not r2d2 specifically but of his breed just kind of chilling oh look there's one right there <laughs> the little droids so that's so awesome i love that they did all that little integration it really just shows the amount of care and effort that the developers put into this game and like i said it's so much fun i mean it's a free game why not give it a try worst case if you don't like it you can always delete it but i definitely see myself playing this in the long run and now let's get into the nintendo switch so i did mention that you can play this on the nintendo switch as well it is free as well so here i'm doing the very first match and look another star wars integration there you actually see the rocket pods flying by as they're racing in the middle of your arena so that is so funny that's so much fun it's just it's so awesome the way that they really put everything together the way they truly thought about everything if i'm being honest on the nintendo switch i love the movement i do have to say it reminds me so much of fortnite might get some backlash on that but hear me out it reminds me of fortnite due to the movement the shooting style and just overall how much fun it is so that's another w on our side let's go ahead and throw it on the big screen here you see the nintendo switch connected to the tv and there's my boy my man my main person sentinel stormtrooper man that guy is so awesome you see the giant machine gun there the clones for backup and right here boom the shield so cool man i love that they do this too for every single person that you unlock every character you do get to see a little mini clip of just them being themselves being the awesome and here let's jump into another game so as you can see here we still have the exact same thing we have the loaded shot the shield um there's a button where you can actually attack with the machine gun you have the clone troopers for the ultimate power up and it's just so much fun to play just move around shoot around i do hope to see some more variety in the game such as maybe unlocking different power-ups um, once you get to a certain level and just stuff like that but other than that the game is so much fun to play already and like i mentioned it does only have two game modes at this moment which is the team deathmatch and the capture the flag i don't know if there will be integrating more game modes in the future that would be something super awesome like for example a free-for-all mode that would be so much fun just to see how much chaos you can actually unleash. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like this game. Let me know if you're going to try it out. Let me know overall what you guys think. Is this a thumbs up for you? Is it a thumbs down? Why do you like it? Why do you not like it? 
What are you most excited for? What are you least excited for? Let's go ahead and head down in the comments. Let's get a conversation going. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Change it to a thumbs down if it's not for you. Subscribe and like for more videos. And that is pretty much all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Stay blessed. Keep gaming. And may the force be with you. Unlock it. Get my body. Dog it is.